Welcome back. It's 615 right now and we're keeping an eye on today with the stories you need to know. A new fund aimed at making Piedmont Park safer has already raised $45,000. An anonymous donor will match proceeds to the Safe Haven Fund up to hundred grand. The fundraising comes two months after the murder of Katie Janess and her dog. The Piedmont Park Conservancy says the new safety features at the park will be revealed in the next few months. Today, activists are set to hold a protest in front of Senator John Ossoff's office. The Democracy Can't Sleep rally is targeting Senators Ossoff and Raphael Warnock. Protesters want the senators to pass voting rights bills in the Senate. Six months since eight families lost loved ones in the spa shootings, a new fund will help Asian American crime victims. The National Asian American Crime Victims and Education Fund will go to aid any AAPI person who's been victimized. The new advisory board hopes to raise $1 million. This morning, it's still unclear if crews have been able to find the site of a helicopter crash in central Georgia. Jasper County agencies began searching yesterday after the chopper went down in a forest about 20 miles south of Macon. Reports indicate there were three people on board. Former Atlanta City Council President Kathy Woolard has been picked as the Fulton County's new election chair. Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger says Willard is not an appropriate choice because she worked as a lobbyist for voting rights group Fair Fight Action.